Hello adventurers, welcome, my name is Adam, this is the Final Fantasy series, and in today's episode we're talking all about Deathmoor. Deathmoor is book 55 in the series, and the first release for 1994. It was written by Robin Waterfield, who had written two books previous, uh, Rebel Planet and Phantoms of the Fear, I believe. Phantoms of Fear, sorry. Um, and the cover illustrations was done by Terry Oaks, and it's pretty cool looking, you know. All the inside illustrations were done by Russ Nicholson, who has previously worked for the Final Fantasy series books, and has done very interesting work, and this book is no different. All the uh, illustrations inside are really nicely detailed, really well drawn, and interesting to look at. And, uh, the, the, yeah, the artwork is just so cool in this book. Um, Deathmore is a very interesting book. The uh, the story. Let's uh, let's actually read it and find uh, out what it's like. The request brought by carrier pigeon to your retreat on Kakio in the Isles of the Dawn is perfectly clear. An experienced adventurer is desperately needed in the distant city of Orion for a mission of deadly importance. An adventurer like you. When you arrive at the court of King John Thane after its long sea voyage, the urgency of the mission becomes clear. Talessa, the beautiful young Princess Royal, is missing. Believed kidnapped, she must be rescued, and must be rescued fast. Unfortunately, in this haste, King John Thane has already given the quest to another, your deadly rival, Fang Zane of Jitar. He cannot be trusted. You know that the only person suitable for this heroic task is you. Can you prove that you are one to rescue the princess, and more importantly, find her? wherever she may be held, before she can be harmed. Hurry, for time is running out. Death more. Now, I said this is a very interesting book. This book um, has no new special rules. There's nothing uh, about the adventure sheet, which is different from any other book. It's your standard Warlock of Artop Mountain rule set. You get potions, gold, weapons, skill luck, stamina, all that. But the story in it, okay? So you're an adventurer, and you've got to go save the princess, okay? That's it. And then there is another guy out there who is on that same quest, okay? There are two. So that that's one aspect, right? There are two characters in this book, right? Um, Oram, or O-I-R-A-M, so however you pronounce that, Oiram, and Igul, right? Basically, if you reverse their names, it's Mario and Luigi. Now, this story is so much like the Nintendo Super Mario Brothers game. It's unbelievable. You're basically Mario going to save the princess. Um, it's a really enjoyable book. It's written for those, you know, 6 to 12 year olds again. It's not really got full of long words or complicated words that are, you know, for like teens and in people in their 20s. It goes back to that easy time. And to be honest, it is a very thin book. It's, um, it's a very short story in terms of completion and... There is uh, a surprise for you people who like to read the back entry first. For number 40 isn't actually the end of your mission. Number 40 is a death page. Okay, so the end of the mission is not on the famous 400. It's whatever it, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's whatever it happens to be. Um, it is a game book I would return to, but perhaps not again and again and again, because the story is kind of generic. It says, let's go save the princess. And it sets up a whole mythological story surrounding that book. You know, Robin Waterfield writes good books. Rebel Planet was a really good book. Phantoms of Fear had other things going on in it. Um, I really enjoyed this, but what did you think? Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this book. Uh, how did you fare? Did you get to rescue the princess and make it to the end? Or did you die in Deathmore on even page 400? Let me know in the comments below. And next week, we are going to the Knights of Doom for our next adventure. Okay, thanks for watching, adventurers. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.